Hey, 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 what the heck? What the heck? Sorry guys, my name is Sitches Kosana and you should already know by now that this is those application and you should be calling me Usem Numzan. Yes, because of today I'll be bringing you life sciences. And our first topic for life sciences is going to be a nucleic acid. Firstly, we have to understand what is a nucleic acid. And before we do that, make sure you run off to your room, fetch that dictionary to make sure that you learn new words on your own. It is very, very important. All right, number one, what is a nucleic acid? A nucleic acid are natural occurring chemical compounds which serve as the primary information carrying molecule inside the cell. They serve as the primary information carrying molecule inside the cell. All right, so today we'll be learning about two types of nucleic acids, which is the DNA, which stands for the deoxyribonucleic acid, and the RNA, which stands for the ribonucleic acid. All right, firstly, we have to understand that these two nucleic acids are made out of building blocks or monomers which are called nucleotides. They are made out of monomers called nucleotides. All right, so you first have to understand how a nucleotide looks like. Okay, a nucleotide consists of a phosphate group. The phosphate group, which is inside a circle-like shape, then it consists of a sugar. There are two types of sugars. A sugar which is inside a house-like shape. Then lastly, it consists of the nitrogenous bases which is inside our era-like shape, right? So you have to be cautious of shapes because of the nitrogenous bases have different shapes. Okay, so the question has to be, Semnumzan, does these two nucleic acid, which is the DNA and the RNA, consist of the very same phosphate group, sugar, and even nitrogenous bases? And the answer is no, because of they do not consist of the very same sugar. The DNA consists of the deoxyribose sugar, while the RNA consists of the ribose sugar. All right, what about nitrogenous bases? We know that they have three similar nitrogenous bases, which is the adenine, the guanine, and the cytosine. They only differentiate when it comes to the thymine and the uracil. The DNA consists of the thymine, which pairs with the adenine, while the RNA consists of the uracil, which doesn't pair with anything. Okay, to understand more about DNA, we have to draw the structure of a DNA. Where's this marker, man? Uh, what? Into twos? At this time? Is that weed I'm smelling? Is that my life science book? Yes. What the? How about you continue the structure of a DNA? Structure of a DNA. Okay. okay. Yes, Miner, as you've surely explained that the DNA is made out of this very same structure. So this means our structure of a DNA will almost look like this. So we'll be using our phosphate group, then our sugar. And remember, for a DNA sugar, we use the deoxyribose sugar. Then we move to our nitrogenous bases. Remember, our nitrogenous bases have different shapes. Yes, they have different shapes. So we'll first start by using the adenine, which has this kind of a shape, right? This is the adenine, right? The adenine will obviously pair with thymine because of a DNA consists of two strands, meaning it is these two nucleotides facing each other, connected by what we call weak hydrogen bonds. So the weak hydrogen bonds connect the two nucleotides when it comes to a DNA, because of a DNA consists of two strands. So an adenine will obviously pair with what we call a thymine inside a DNA. So a thymine structure will look like this. This is a, th a thymine structure, right? It is pairing with the thymine structure. Then we obviously know that the other side obviously consists of thy sugar, the deoxyribose sugar and thy phosphate group. Okay, then we come back to this side. We obviously continue with our phosphate group and our 
deoxyribose sugar and obviously our nitrogenous bases so this second time we'll be using a nitrogenous bases called a guanine which is in shape that looks like this this is what we call a guanine which will obviously pair with what we call a cytosine remember this is a dna structure not an RNA structure. So it pairs with what we call a cytosine, meaning the cytosine structure has to be like this. So this is the cytosine structure. This is like a lock and key theory. If you've done the lock and key theory, you'll understand how they are pairing. This is just the very same way. So we obviously have our very own phosphate group and our deoxyribose sugar connecting to our nitrogenous bases which is called the cytosine. So you must remember that in a DNA, there are two strands. The adenine always pairs with thymine. The guanine always pairs with cytosine. What makes them to connect? The weak hydrogen bond connects the two nucleotides. And remember, the DNA has the deoxyribose sugar and not the ribose sugar. All right, Miner. I think I'm done here. Okay. Yes. You take your seat. Okay. okay. Nice one, Titus. You did very good. But then make sure that that book comes here tomorrow with a cover. Because of you do not come in this class naked. You understand? Yes. Okay. Now let's continue. All right. As Titus has explained, almost everything on a DNA structure will be just jumping to an RNA structure. All right. We know that DNA and RNA have three similar nitrogenous bases. But then we know that DNA has two strands, which Titus has explained. And we know that an RNA consists of a single strand. So by single strand, we mean that it is not connecting with any yes okay so let's start from the beginning we know that it obviously also has the phosphate group then the ribose sugar it consists of the ribose sugar not the deoxyribose sugar then the nitrogenous bases which is what we call the rni right and then it continues to have the phosphate group then also what we call the ribose sugar and then what is our second nitrogenous basis we are going to be using the different nitrogenous bases that you will never find on a dna which is called our very own uracil a uracil it is only found on an rna and not a dna all right then it obviously continues to our phosphate group then our ribose sugar and then our second last nitrogenous basis which is what we call a guanine right then our last nitrogenous basis we obviously have our phosphate group and our ribose sugar and then our what we call cytosine so the difference between an rna structure and a dna structure is that an rna consists of a single strand it doesn't have two nucleotides facing each other and it also has a uracil it doesn't have any thymine it does have the same shape though the same shape but then not the same nitrogenous base all right to continue the lesson make sure you subscribe because of we are moving to dna replication and dna transcription and translation make sure you hit that subscribe button like the video because of we are moving far okay